And good morning, HF, and welcome to the BTV Daily Show. I'm Johnny Kay. And I'm Abu Smith. Well, folks, brace yourselves. It's coming. You bet it is. The cold weather is just about six hours away. That's when the official cold weather advisory goes into effect, which is about 6 p.m. tonight. Not that it's warm right now, but the temps are going to continue to get lower and lower into tomorrow, where it could reach negative 13 degrees. Some are even saying with the cold wind chills, it could get as cold as negative 50 degrees. The newspaper headlines say it all. Chicago will be colder tomorrow than Antarctica. Never thought we'd hear that. It's been pretty cold outside for the last week, and our own movement at Embrave the Cold to see what it's like for HF students who have to walk the path in this wintry weather. With temperatures at an all-time low for this school year, people are bundling up more than ever to stay warm in this freezing cold weather. If you're like me and you have to walk the path between every class, that's right, every class, then you know that you have to stay warm today on that 10-minute walk. I have mittens, a scarf, and a hat, but it's still not enough for me to brace this cold. And a lot of other people agree. They think bundling up is not a sufficient step. We asked around and see what some people are doing to deal with this freezing cold weather. All right, how do I feel about the cold? It's cold, that's how I feel. You know what I'm saying? Um, I'm just trying to bundle up as much as I can because it is freezing and I'm just trying to walk the path as fast as I can. I'm freezing to death and I want to die. <laughs> According to the National Weather Service, in weather like this, a person can get frostbite in just 20 minutes. Luckily, it only takes 10 minutes to walk our path. I am wearing as warm of clothes as I could, but it's still cold. The cold, it's pretty bad. It's giving me a headache. But you know, I'll still come to school anyway, because I need education. Um, I'm really cold. I have a big coat on, so that's helping, but it's pretty unenjoyable out here. <laughs> How cold is it? Well, we put this water bottle out here at 7.30 this morning. Just 40 minutes and it's already frozen solid. Um, I'm just screaming inside. It's so cold, we shouldn't even be in school. Uh, this is very bad. Uh, I'm absolutely miserable. This, my face hurts, this is bad. Thankfully, HF is providing us with shuttle buses for these freezing cold days. But this is where it gets crazy. I've seen people cutting in line and sprinting just to catch these shuttle buses. That's how you know that it's extremely cold outside. And if you think this is bad, just wait till Wednesday. The high is negative 5 and the low is negative 15. Negative 15 degrees. That is crazy. So hopefully everyone will be prepared by dressing warm and catching those shuttle buses. Stay warm, HF. I'm Mae Van Etten. Thank you, Mae. She looked really cold. It's not fun walking the path, and don't think that tomorrow is going to be the only cold day. Thursday is still supposed to be in the negatives with the wind chills and the negative teens. So when you come back on Thursday, make sure you are dressed for the cold. I'm grateful that we have school canceled tomorrow, and I'm sure that's some kind of record. Canceling school at HF two days before the weather, weather hits, that's amazing in itself. You should check the closing sites online. There are a number of schools that close today, tomorrow, and Thursday already. They just don't want to risk it in the subarctic temperatures. Probably wise. Well, we'll talk to our principal about the situation as she joins us in the studio today. And we'll get to that right after these announcements. Calling all inspirational voices, rehearsal has been canceled for today. Dancers taking intermediate or advanced dance next year for PE, don't forget that your auditions are today starting at 3.15. Come make vision boards for 2019 and Wellness Wednesday. Sign up in the guidance office today. The week's group topic, vision boards and manifesting your goals. Turnabout tickets are now on sale in the campus store. The dance will take place Saturday, February 23rd, and formal attire is required. Tickets are $30 each, and you can, be, you can purchase your ticket with your student ID. World of Math and Evening of Poetry and Story will take place on Wednesday, February 27th in E1 from 4.30 to 5.30 p.m. If you'd like to read your original work, please sign up with Ms. Mustafa in A11. No, matter the, no later than February 22nd, you must have your piece ready when you sign up. Not a writer? Come on and support your HF poets and storytellers as they read their original work. Tickets are $2 at the door. There will be concessions and raffle prizes. Viking speakers, actors, and poets. We are announcing the Poetry Out Loud National Recitation Contest. You will find all the materials you need on the Poetry Out Loud website at www.poetryoutloud.org. Stay tuned for more information or see Ms. Stroman in room 821. HF school-wide competition is set for February 12th, so get involved and be amazed. Poetry lives when it is Poetry Out Loud. Recycle, please take your unusable markers, highlighted, and dry erase markers to A1 or G25, and your markers will be sent in to Crayola Color Cycle to be disposed of properly. Open gym for volleyball is today and Thursday this week. If you're wanting to get in some work before the season starts, make sure to stop by the field house after school on those days. 
There is a baseball informational meeting on Tuesday, February 19th at 3.30 p.m. in the TLC room in the South Building. This meeting will be for all levels of baseball and include important details about making the HF baseball team. If you cannot make the meeting, please email Coach McCarthy for details about tryouts. All right, let's keep the show moving and throw things over to Kenneth Powell, who is with Dr. Anderson. She talks well. Break the songs and sing. Therefore, it's all pure feeling. We're playing this complete honesty. It's hard to say that if you can trace the origin of your fear, it will disappear. Kayla Norris is here, and I'm joined as always by our principal, Dr. Jerry Anderson. How are you doing today? I'm doing well, thank you. Before we get started, I think congratulations are in order for you. I hear you are a new grandma. Yes, indeed. Leliana Ali, she'll be four weeks old on, sat on, on Friday. <laughs> All right, let's get into some serious questions. Winter weather is dropping hard on us tomorrow with temps in the negatives. You've lived in Colorado, but have you ever been a part of a potentially negative 50 degree day? Uh, yes. People think it doesn't get cold in Colorado. Go up into those mountains and you will find out something very different. <laughs> Thursday isn't supposed to be much warmer. Can we assume we will have school Thursday? Right now, our plan is to have school on Thursday. You know, we'll have to see if there's anything that changes. And if it does, we'll get in touch with you in plenty of time. The school is once again pushing this recycle program and encouraging students and teachers to recycle. What can you say about our recycle program here at HF? Well, I mean, with over 3,000 people in our building, we live a big carbon footprint. It's an opportunity for us to show that we want to take care of the world we live in. You know, the more we take care of it, the more that we're going to be able to get out of it. So we can do a lot here at HF. So I really would like to see students make that effort, students and staff, and recycle. Finally, MLK Day just passed, and a number of HF students helped in the community instead of taking the day off. How pleased were you to hear about how hard HF students worked on this national holiday? Um, I was very proud. You know, um, Dr. King was about giving. I mean, you think about he made an ultimate sacrifice for what his beliefs are. And our community, again, we have to put into our community what we expect to get out of it. So I was really proud of our students for wanting to give back on that day. Okay, that's all the time we have for today. Thanks so much for joining us here today, Dr. Anderson. We appreciate it. And look forward to seeing you next time on Telling It Like It Is. I'm Kayla Norris. Thank you. Thanks again to Dr. Anderson for coming in today. All right, it looks like that's going to do it for us today. Just a reminder, there is no school tomorrow. And I'm doubtful that anyone needs that reminder, but you never know. We'll see you again on Thursday, and that will be the Black Wednesday day. So dress extra warm for the weather, and make sure you tune in to see how your class can win some serious prizes for our Super Bowl contest. So many memories being made this year, and do you know the best way to remember what happened this year? That's easy. Buy a yearbook, and that's how we'll end the show today, with a look at how you can order your 2019 yearbook. Have a safe and warm day, I. I'm Johnny K. And I'm Abia Smith. Have a nice day, Chuck. <laughs> Dan, you've been putting a lot of work into resizing these captions for the yearbook. Lauren, do people even know how to buy this yearbook? Probably not, but I can show you. You start by going to justins.com. Then you type in Homewood Flossmore High School. And select 2019 yearbook. From there, you can purchase the $50 yearbook. Also at Justins.com, you can purchase a yearbook recognition ad where you or a loved one can put a page in the back of the book dedicated to you and your accomplishments.